Ring 1 and 2 flighting has started for Halo 2 Anniversary. But what does this mean for us Halo Insiders and when can we expect a release and a public flighting for this game? Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it greatly helped out the video and channel more than you would actually know. So let's get right into the content here. Recently on Twitter, Postman's went online and said basically Ring 1 and 2 flighting has started as of Sunday, March 30th. So that means that it's going to be coming around pretty soon guys, but when can we expect this flighting to happen? As we've seen previous two different games being flighted in the past. There's different schedules obviously between the two games because each game requires its own kind of changes and fixes that it needs. But I'm expecting this flighting process to be very similar as what was for Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary as that game was a port of a PC version brought to the Xbox One with a remastered version on there. We're kind of having the same experience with Halo 2 and Halo 2 Anniversary where a lot of the heavy lifting was already done on the PC port which was brought over to the MCC version version and they also did the anniversary treatment on the PC version of the game so a lot of like I said the heavy lifting has been done when it comes to bringing the game to PC now it's just a matter of just giving us a lot of the features and making sure things work out well recently all the ring zero as in the internal 343 testing bugs have been lifted and it's now there's been a build shifted off to the ring one and two participants now that's fine and dandy but not necessarily enough information for a whole video guys so so I wanted to kind of give a little bit more analysis of when we can expect to have a flighting for us Halo players and we'll just review back what happened with Combat Evolved and look at the timetable that happened there and compare it to what we could probably expect now given that hopefully with this new version of Halo 2 Anniversary that the blocking factors are going to be the same hopefully obviously each game like I said involved, deserves its own treatment and has its own issues and obstacles but I'm assuming it'd be rather similar here so uh, back Back on February 7th, that's when Combat Evolved Anniversary went to Ring 1 and 2 and was shipped out on that Friday at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you look at later time, on February 14th, one week later, the flight went live for us to play. And I believe we had that flight for, was it two or three weeks? So a good amount of time to test out a lot of bugs and things that need to be fixed with that game. Obviously some of them made through to the final release, uh, but it was generally in a good working state, working well enough to where it was fun and playable. I mean, I'm certainly enjoying playing CE on PC and multiplayer as well. Obviously it does have its bugs, especially with like the unlimited frames, uh, bullet spread issue, which hasn't been resolved quite yet. Though, we're looking forward to getting a chance to play some Halo 2 Anniversary, obviously, because that game really pressed the issue when it came to uh, the performance on the original Xbox One, which I personally have, and that constantly having frame drops. I even had a situation, I was playing to get some gameplay footage for you guys, and my game completely crashed my Xbox. Like still like that's kind of crazy the the power of the xbox one and the game is too powerful for the platform which is kind of crazy to think about also on the multiplayer side of things that's when i experience a lot of frame drops especially during games themselves when you jump into a custom game it plays out just fine but when you're playing in multiplayer where the game has to compute all the things that are happening just constant frame drops happening i can't imagine what it was back in the day back in 2014 when you're playing the hcs h2 wave settings for all these pros where you're having constant frame drops in the game of course crashing and having its issues back then as well i mean i was just playing the other day and like playing on sanctuary the remastered version and just like when you're leaving the base it just like drops to like 40 30 frames every single time i've even thought about dropping my xbox to 720p just to make sure that the game could run smooth enough so really unacceptable performance hopefully the pc can help alleviate those issues but so this is why i'm really looking forward to playing halo to anniversary on PC, not only do you get the improved resolution and frame rate, but just have it be a game that can perform on a platform that it's um, capable of you know, performing it, which is really great to have happen. I cannot wait. This is going to be the best looking game on the entire Master Chief Collection, guys. I cannot wait to play the campaign. I will do a playthrough on my Twitch channel, by the way, guys. I do have a playthrough on my channel as well when the game originally released. So if you guys want to check that out, 
you definitely can on the original Xbox when the game released, but I definitely will be doing a PC playthrough as well on my Twitch, link in the description down below. So we had Ring 1 and 2 flighting for CE happen on February 7th, Ring 3, the Halo Insider Ring, was February 14th. So then when did the game actually release again? It was on March 3rd, exactly four months after Halo Reach. And so, it, but I would expect to have uh, Halo 2 anniversary release a little bit sooner than four months because, uh, you know, like I said, we've done, like not only has the team been working on each game individually, but they also work on each game simultaneously. So like right now, they are working on Halo 3 to get that game ready up and running for when uh, it does get released. That's why it took so long for Halo Reach to get released out because not only were they working on Halo Reach, even though that was the main focus, they were working on all other titles within the MCC that bring those to PC as well. So they're kind of balancing or juggling whichever metaphor you want to make about like seven 10 different, 11 different engines in the game to try to make those work properly. So yeah, a lot of work needs to be done, but as we get closer to the end, I'm assuming that it will kind of ramp up and work a lot faster. So when can we expect Halo 2 Anniversary flighting for Ring 3, the Halo Insider program? At the earliest, I would expect it to happen this Friday, April 3rd, though I can see it probably going on a little bit further, probably till around maybe like April 9th, 8th, 9th, or 10th, releasing around then for the Halo Insider program. So we got at least a week or two until we get a chance to actually get our hands and play those games for sure. Now, when it comes to a release, obviously it depends on the amount of blockers that Ring 3 players end up finding or end up interacting with. Though we can see with the, uh, the trends of what happened with uh, Combat Evolved that the flighting Public flighting happened on February 14th, and then about a week or you know two or three weeks after that release, and what like two weeks after that, we had the release of the game. So I would definitely expect a May release at least at the latest. I would think possibly a later April release, maybe give it about a week or two. Probably give it about two weeks after the final day of the public flighting, and I would expect to see the release of Halo 2 Anniversary. So definitely, like I said, in early May late April release is when I would expect to see this game come to us glorious PC gamers. And just to recap, what can we expect to be able to play within this new flight for Halo 2 Anniversary coming around for you guys? Well, it's only going to be Halo 2 and Halo 2 Anniversary, specifically the campaign, multiplayer, and theater mode from Halo 2 Anniversary. They were planning to do a Reach audio fix flight and also the bullet spread uh, unlimited frame fix for Combat Evolved to throw in with this flight though apparently Reach, Forge, Theater, and also the audio fixes along with the unlimited frame uh, bolt spread fix for Combat Evolved need a little bit more time in the oven for before they get a chance to actually go out and for have us to play it. Obviously they will flight those content because they need to make sure that when it does get patched into the game it actually works. <laughs> Also keep in mind that they will not be using emails to give out the pertinent information when it comes to the flighting uh, content, guys. Uh, they have not released the information quite yet of how they will go about sending out invites and also giving players information. I'm assuming it'll probably ex direct people to go to like the Halo support website to get more people familiar with that interface. So hopefully when they do encounter bugs, they know where to go and how to use the website. That's what, at least what I would think, but obviously there's different ways you can go about doing that. So, uh, but again, guys, I will definitely keep you guys up to date whenever we do know more information about the Halo 2 anniversary flighting process and uh, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel keep yourselves up to date right there but let me know in the comment section down below what are you guys most looking forward to when it comes to combat evolved anniversary playing on PC are you looking forward to the frame rate the increased FOV maybe just overall just better performance and better smoother gameplay which is really what I'm looking forward to to avoid all those really annoying frame jumps and potential console cra crashes like I had just the other day. Now I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well guys so keep you guys interactive with the channel here and if you guys like these news informational videos please make sure to tap that like button as it lets me know you want to see some more content like this. The last video went amazingly well and I really appreciate the support on this channel guys. Uh, like I said leave a comment what your thoughts are on the news here and what you guys are looking forward to when it comes to Combat Evolved Anniversary and if you're missing any content for me make sure to check out the videos on the screen right now. I got a link to all the news updates and a playlist right there ready for you guys to watch if you want to keep up yourselves update if you haven't been in the loop in the last few weeks or so so thank you so much for watching i greatly appreciate it and i'll catch you all in the next video peace out